What is happening people, this is welcome back to another video. I'm T2 Sugars, a Welsh graffiti artist, and today I am working on a commission piece in Hiroin. Locals call it Irwin, don't know why, but they do. And I'm painting the public toilets. So the toilets look a little bit drab at the moment. So what they've tried to do is they submit their butterflies. So they're calling it the butterfly mural. And here are some of the entries that were given. So these are some of the, the winners. So this is Evie Hicks, age five. Then we have Amelia's entry. And we have Harley. Yeah, Harley Davis, uh, seven. Uh, then we have Ethan's entry, which is a quite a nice one. Nice design there. Another one by Eva Tilly. I think I some different Evie. Evie's Tilly, sorry. And this is Thomas, age four. And then we have Hudson. Come up with this lovely butterfly. I don't know if these are coming out on camera because it's quite bright. They have Evan. So all these butterflies. And this is another one by Evan Davis again. So all these butterflies are going to be used in some way, shape or form uh, in the artwork that I've basically, I've made the, the, the background piece and then all the foreground piece, all the main areas and are going to be uh, all these uh, kids artwork. So this is Ralph. So that's another bright, colorful piece. So I've taken the aspects from this one, like the bumblebee, the ladybird, and the caterpillar and the butterfly and then I've put that into the artwork we'll come to the artwork in a minute so there's another one again uh, this is Macy another one or oh, Maisie sorry if I'm saying your names wrong and then we have Sophie with the finger painting is a brilliant one nice and colorful and last but not least Indie Rose Real cool character drawing, uh, the, cat the caterpillar and the butterfly and the little worm and this lovely little flower here. So these are all the end, well, all the competition winners. There was many more entries, um, but yeah, all these now are all going to be compiled into some big piece of artwork, which then I'm going to uh, use that as reference pictures to then create the, the whole piece. So uh, let's quit jib jabbing and let's go and have a look of the canvas. So yeah, as you can see, it's a pretty drab looking building and uh, I have to now make it look like a beautiful butterfly sanctuary. So, first thing I need to do is get all the milled and mould off the building, paint it all white so I've got a good base coat for my paint then to sit on top of. So for the next day, it's pretty boring, it's just scrubbing and getting everything white and maybe towards the end of the day I might be marking out but tomorrow is the fun stuff so this is just me getting the walls white for now and uh, I just need to get started and get that done so this is just the boring bits uh, tomorrow is the fun bit so if you want to skip ahead by two minutes probably or a minute or so be my guest so this is me turning the building white Day one is a wrap and I've got a lot of it blue and white. So blue is gonna be my sky, white then is gonna be like the base coat for the for everything else. So this is gonna be like ground colours down there. But all in all, 
brightened it up a little bit and uh, it looks all right. It's coming along, but uh, slowly but surely. But I'll see you guys tomorrow to be day, day two and um, we can start doing actual painting. So, see you tomorrow. So it's day two and I've had a nightmare already. I didn't want to record anything first thing uh, because I just had to get you, tape up the doors and the windows and everything. But it's just so windy, it's taken three hours to get the windows taped up because every time I go to put the stuff on the windows, it just rips out of my hand. Uh, I just try to cover the doors over with plastic. They're all covered over now so the doors are still open to the public to use the toilets. But all in all, I've just had a, just a nightmare this morning. Uh, it's coming up to like 12 o'clock now. So I'm just gonna just have a little chill in the van for about five, 10 minutes. But I can't do any recording outside, I can't do any talking to you guys. All the talk is gonna be in here because it's just so windy. It's all you're gonna hear is wind noise. But uh, yeah, I've just gotta get this done because we haven't got the greatest weather all of next week. Plus I've got projects booked in and everything. And uh, hopefully I can uh, get it finished today. Have a little chill with you, hit the ground running, six, seven hours, flat out painting, no stopping, nothing, and uh, see if I can get it done. But I'm just going to get background done mostly because the most of the detail then is, you know, quite simple, and I'm not going to deny it. They're quite simple drawings from the kids have painted. There's one or two really complex ones, which I'm not too uh, worried about, but uh, all in all, I'm just worried about the wind most, mostly because it's going to be an absolute nightmare to paint. But it is what it is. Let's get it started. Come on, let's go. Right, so that is a wrap for day two. I was hoping to get it done today, but it took me so long to wrap the windows. Fortunately, I didn't get it all done. But the background is done, which is the main part. That's all done. Just gotta paint all the all the contestants. Paintings, well, drawings back in. And my background is done. I've got a lovely looking tree going on here, which looks cool. And then around the other side, I've got couple of other bits done all the way done around to the other tree. I'm a bit tired. So that's what I'm gonna have to put. But yeah, done to this tree. All the way around to the other side it's all done. It's just all the contestants artwork is left. But I'll see you in day three and get it all finished. So early start day three. I'm just gonna get it grinding and get this done. Hopefully do it panel by panel. So around this side first and then work my way around towards the shaded area. Let's stay in the sun as much as we can. But I'm just gonna blast it out, stick it on a time lapse and uh, come back at the end before the reveal. So enjoy. Yes, that is a guy walking his horse. So yes, we've got a, the public toilets here done in Hidrine. 
Thanks to all the contestants that uh, entered the competition. So we've got Indy Rose, we've got Evie, we've got Amelia, we've got Evan, we've got Evie Tilly, then we've got Hallie, and we've got Ralph, Sophie, Evan again, Ethan for his brilliant design, uh, Maisie, Maisie May, and Thomas and Hudson all together. They are all the contestants that we uh, chose to put up on this uh, in this mural. And um, yeah, if you guys like this type of stuff and want to see more, make sure you like and subscribe. And see you guys on the next one. Peace.